Welcome, Attorney General. You know, following your confirmation, Americans were promised they were getting a focused, nonpartisan to lead their federal law enforcement. I had my doubts back then. And the last two years have more than confirmed in my mind those fears. Never in my life would I have thought that I would see such a politicized DOJ. Never in my life would I have thought I would see such a Department of Justice that didn't obey their own rules. Never in my life did I think I would see the egregious investigations conducted under your, under your watch or the blatant disregard of the First Amendment by FBI field offices under your watch. And never in my life did I think I would see our great DOJ turn to an, into a politicized weapon to be wielded by an investigation to attack political rivals. I still hold the thousands of hardworking staff with high regard, but unfortunately there are some within the department, in my mind, who have betrayed their oaths. And for that, you must be held accountable. I hold you accountable for the labeling of parents as domestic terrorists standing up for the, their proper education of their own children. I hold you accountable for the anti-Catholic memo. Imagine sending agents undercover into Roman Catholic churches because they were supposedly domestic terrorists. And I hold you accountable for unleashing a special counsel with a history of botched investigations on our current president's political rival. The department of, under your leadership, I am sorry to say, and I am sorry to say, has become an enforcement arm of the Democratic National Committee. If there is a perceived threat to the Democratic Party, the Democratic Party, this DOJ attacks every single time. But when there are actionable threats against conservatives, this DOJ stays put. Protesters outside, violent protesters outside the Supreme Court justices' home, unpunished. Attacks on pro-life centers, unpunished. The two-tiered system of justice is clear, and it's clear to the American public. And the buck stops with the man in charge. That man is you. The actions of the DOJ are on you. The decline of Americans' trust in our federal law enforcement is on you. The po political weaponization of the DOJ is on you. Attorney General, I need a simple yes or no to the following. Just yes or no, because we don't have much time. Do you agree that traditional Catholics are violent extremists? Yes or no? Let me answer what you've said in that long list of, of, of not, it's, statements, and I I'll be happy the, to answer all of those. Attorney but General, just, I control the time. I'm going to ask you to answer well, the you, questions you, I asked. You ask. controlled time by asking me a substantial number of things. And I, let me I didn't give, ask you those things. I, I made a statement. The, Attorney will, General, through the chair, I ask you, do you agree that traditional Catholics are violent extremists? Look, Answer I have no question. idea what your what the traditional uh, means here. The Catholics, idea, let Catholics me just, that go I to church. Your, may I answer your question? Yes, the idea no. that someone with my family background would discriminate against any religion is so outrageous, Mr. so absurd. Mr. Attorney General, it was your FBI question. that did this. It was your FBI that was sending, and we have the memos, we have the emails, we're sending undercover agents into Catholic churches. Both I and the director this of the FBI the have said that we were appalled FBI have said that we were appalled by that memo. So then you agree the that they're not extremists? We were appalled by that memo. Are they extremists or not, Attorney General? I think that- Are they extremists or not, Attorney everything General? Everything in that memo is Are appalling. Are they extremists or not? I'm asking a simple question. Say no, if you think that was wrong. Catholics are not extremists, no. Was anyone fired for drafting and circulating the anti-Catholic memo? You have in front of you the inspection uh, division's investigation. Just tell me yes or no, please. I don't know. We have the no answer. time. I don't know the answer to that. There okay. Do you agree that parents attending school board meetings should be categorized? Should parents, that, in. should parents that go to school board meetings and are very vocal about their kids' education should be they should they be classified as domestic terrorists? Uh, of course not. And my memo made clear that vigorous objections ba uh, to policies in schools are protected so it's no. by the First Amendment. The president this week accused you, not the president himself, his staff, and it was in the Wall Street Journal and it was leaked out of mismanaging the Hunter Biden probe. Do you agree? Yes or no? It was in the Wall Street Do Journal article. I'm not saying I'm sorry. That. Do I agree with the Wall Street Journal? Yes, or? and, what, and that, the information they released that said you botched this probe. 
Yeah, I think I have uh, uh, dealt with the uh, Hunter Biden investigation in the way I've told this. Mr. Committee. Chairman, I yield my remaining time to you. I appreciate it. The gentleman yields back. Uh, uh, the gentlelady from Pennsylvania is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And thank you, Attorney General Garland, for your decades.